When you let your users create subsites in SharePoint, you want to make sure that these sites follow a consistent look and feel, uh, company logo, and navigation. And you want to make sure that these things are easy to configure, that users don't have to go all over the site to change little bits and pieces of configuration. Today I wanted to show you how you can easily create SharePoint site design, or better known right now as a SharePoint sign template, and uh, allow your users here when they're creating a new site, pick from a drop-down and choose your corporate site template or site design. There's a few things that I want to achieve with my custom design. I want to provision custom color scheme. I want to also assign a logo and provision a couple of navigation elements. Let's go ahead and see what's involved. First, I'm going to provision a uh, custom color scheme. I'm going to provide you with a link to this theme generator, but I'm going to generate a custom color for my site design, and I'm going to pick one of the brave colors here, this purple, and um, apply it to this generator and the generator automatically will generate all the code required for me and uh, to color all of the necessary elements on the side. So I'm gonna copy this piece of code here, the PowerShell code, and I'm gonna put it in my template right in here. And I'll explain this template a little bit and also I'll provide you access to this template so you, you don't have to memorize all the code or follow along in a video. Uh, but this template will be consumed by this uh, PowerShell command and it'll define my theme. So with that piece of code on the top here, uh, copied from the template ga from a template generator or a theme generator, I'll be able to create a custom theme. So let's go ahead and run this code. I'm going to open uh, SharePoint Online Management Shell and execute this command. Now let's go ahead and define the rest of the template. So I already have pre-baked code here, and let me just explain a little bit about this code. Uh, I have a verb here, or a command, to apply custom theme, and that theme assumed, is assumed to be on the site already, which it is. I've just provisioned it, um, so it's available for any future sites or new sites. Um, I also am adding uh, three different navigation links to the top. I'm adding the one for employee services, business services, and workspaces. So these are just links from the top suite, uh, from a, for the top uh, for the top navigation bar. And the last thing that I'm doing is I'm setting a site logo, and I have a URL here for my existing site logo that I'm using. Uh, that's it. So let's go ahead and uh, plug this into our PowerShell and uh, execute it. Okay, great. Now let's go ahead and uh, create this uh, provision an, a script object. So I'm going to copy these two lines. The first line is going to provision a script object and the second line is going to actually create a new template. Um, you'll notice here I have um, uh, the template name. So that's what it's going to show uh, what's going to show up to users. Uh, so that's my origami template. Um, the web template, so there's two types of web templates. 64 means a team site and 68 means a communication site. So depending on what I have here, it'll either show up under uh, 64 uh, under my team site or uh, 68 is my communication site uh, right from this, from this selection here. So you've got to be careful and know what, what number to put in so it shows in the right category. Now there's a little placeholder here for script ID and that will be generated when this top command executes. Uh, and in description is just a description. So I'm going to copy these two lines and you'll see exactly what's happening. I'm going to go ahead and paste them here. So the first line executed and I get this ID here. Now be sure to copy this ID and because you will need it in your uh, site scripts right here. You'll also need it in order to um, you also need it to clean up the uh, site scripts in the future. So usually what I do is I'm going to store one right here just for my reference. I'm going to execute this line and I'm also going to get ID here. I'm going to store that ID as well so I can remove these site templates if I don't need them later. Okay, but these couple of lines of code provision basically the entire site template for me with a logo, navigation links, and colors. So let's take a look at what how it all looks like. I'm going to go ahead and click create site. Now remember, because I picked uh, 68 as a site template, it's my communication site. And from a drop down, sure enough, I see origami. And I'm going to create a site name. Click finish. 
Now you'll notice that the site is created very quickly. And if I refresh this site right away, I see my um, my logo, custom navigation, employee services, business services, and workspaces, and all of my colors applied. So just like that, you can change uh, you know the color to your corporate color. Of course, the logo in my case is white on white, which is not really the smartest way to put the um, uh, to create to put the logo on a white team on a white theme. And as well, my navigation links are also here. Now to clean up everything, um, I will need uh, these a uh, couple of commands here. So the first one will remove your theme and the theme is no longer going to be available uh, on the site. You don't want to usually do that unless you made a mistake. Like in my case, I created the header uh, to be white and the logo is white. So it's not really the best use of the color. So I want to adjust it. So in that case, I'm going to need to remove the theme and re-add it again. Uh, another piece of code I'm going to, uh, or another cleanup I'm going to run is to remove this uh, site script that I've created in a second ago. Um, and lastly, uh, you know, in that, in that particular site script, I'm going to remove if I need to change any configuration here. So if I need to add new navigation links or anything like that, I'll need to remove and re-add that site script. So that's important. And lastly, since I removed and re-added the uh, site script, I will definitely need to remove and re-add my uh, site design. So I'm going to need to execute this particular command with the ID that I've that I've received when I ran the uh, the ad site design. So once all that is done, um, of course my existing site uh, keeps functioning. There's nothing that's broken here. But if I go back to my uh, SharePoint and try to create a new site, uh, you'll notice that uh, you'll notice that the template is no longer going to be available. Here we go. One other thing to know is uh, to note is that if you create a couple of templates with the same name, unfortunately, they're going to be both available with the same name. Um, so you're going to need to use a couple of other additional commands to see what are the available uh, template IDs and delete them before you can actually eliminate the ones that you don't need and keep the ones that you do need. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave your comments and let us know what else would you like to see.